Welcome to our today's update. Today being 22nd of March 2023, Chief Justice, Honorable Martha Kohome has revealed why she signed an LGBTQ group and gave them freedom. However, this was against the expectations of many people including both religious and political leaders, elders and most of the citizens. So today Martha Kohome has said that she was just following orders and her life was in danger if she couldn't have gave it a yes. My listener whom do you think is the person that gave CJ Kohome orders? And why should she say her life was in danger? Was someone threatening her of not accepting LGBTQ? Don't worry I'm going to inform you all about this, but just before I do that, I would like you to take two seconds to subscribe in this channel. Press the subscribe button and importantly remember to turn on the notification bell, so that anytime I will be uploading anything, you just get notified immediately. LGBTQ group, through their leadership presented the complaints over their abandoned rights by the Kenyan law. Through their powerful delegates, they presented their issue to court and decision came to conclusion that LGBTQ groups have been given rights here in Kenya. Just after this, CJ Martha Kohome has been receiving many blames all over the country for allowing LGBTQ groups in Kenya, but my listener today this will get you by surprise that Martha Kohome had just to sign and give the LGBTQ group their freedom. Although the president himself spoke after that decision, during a women function in Nairobi the president said that he was against LGBTQ, adding that in Kenya men should marry women and vice versa. But do you know that the president was actually against it on vocals but he had to accept it in papers. LGBTQ groups were being defended by international groups which the president couldn't have overpowered. This has brought the sense that President Ruto defended the larger group that was against LGBTQ, by words of mouth while on the other hand, defended the LGBTQ rights on papers after which it seemed that the president told CJ Martha Kohome just to bear the blames because she wasn't a political leader. Up to this time hope you find out what truly happened, or what are your thoughts on the possibility that could have happened. Share down your thoughts in the comment section and remember to subscribe so that when we gonna upload next you gonna get notified immediately. Thank you.